Hey there, tech enthusiasts! Welcome back to Fast Cabling. If you tuned in last time, you will remember we delved into the world of wireless network bridges and show you our unique back-to-back -back setup. Well, today in this video, we are taking it a step further and exploring the benefits of integrating solar power with these wireless network bridges, especially for those challenging remote areas. And if you have any questions about wireless networking or need help optimizing your setup, we are offering free tech consultation to help you get the most out of your technology. So just send us your questions through the link down in the description box below and our team of experts are here to help. Now let's get started. So in our previous episode, we introduced the back-to-back -back setup for wireless network bridges, which allows for extended range and reliable connectivity in even the most challenging locations. Now this setup involves placing two pairs of wireless network bridges strategically to relay the signal over greater distances. So it's a game changer for anyone needing robust and long distance wireless connection. But there's one major challenge when setting up the wireless bridges in remote areas, power. Now without a stable power supply, maintaining this connection can be tricky. So what can we do? Here enter the solar power. But before we dive into that, let's start with the basics. So a wireless network bridge is a device that connects two or more network segments over a wireless connection. Now think of it as a wireless extension cord for your network. Instead of using cables to link different parts of a network, you use wireless signal. And the primary function of a wireless network bridge is to expand the reach of your network without the need for physical cables. So it's perfect for spanning long distances, connecting buildings, or even reaching remote areas where cabling is impractical. So why are wireless network bridges so beneficial in remote locations? And here are a few key reasons. Flexibility. They eliminate the need for extensive cabling, making them ideal for difficult terrains. Cost effective. They reduce the cost and labor involved in laying down physical cables. Scalability. They can easily expand your network as your needs grow without additional infrastructures. Now let's talk about our unique back-to-back -back setup in more detail. The back-to-back -back setup involves placing two pairs of wireless network bridges, facing one bridge to the other, and connect two bridges in an intermediate point to relay the signal from the source to the destination point over a much longer distance. And here are some technical benefits. By using two pairs of bridges, now you can effectively double the distance your network signal can travel, which is up to 10 kilometers. So this setup can help minimize signal interference from obstacles and other electronic devices, and also ensure a strong and stable connection, even in challenging environments. Now let's bring solar power into the mix. In remote locations, having a stable power supply can be a challenge. So that's where the solar power comes in. Solar power provides a sustainable and reliable energy source, perfect for keeping your wireless network bridges running smoothly. Now let's break down the components of a solar power system. A basic solar power setup includes the solar panel. Now they can capture the sunlight and convert it into electricity and batteries to store the energy generated by the solar panel for use when the sun isn't shining. And a charge controller to regulate the power going into the batteries to prevent overcharging and ensure efficient energy use. So now let's move on to the step-by-step -step guide on setting up your back-to-back -back wireless bridge 
with our solar power kit. So we recently introduced our all-in-one solar power kit that integrates all the components into one convenient device. The solar panel, the battery, and the charge controller all in one, making it easier than ever to set up a solar power wireless diagonal bridge. So now you can see this is the intermediate point. We have two wireless bridges in place. And there we have a wireless bridge at the source with the router. And this is our destination point with the last wireless network bridge. So now let's begin at the source. So right here we have our first bridge. And I'm going to plug in the Ethernet cable to the PoE port since this can be powered up by PoE technology. Through a single Ethernet cable, it can receive both power and data. This is the PoE output port, and this is the data port connected to the router. So now this bridge is getting both power and data. Let's take a look at the side. We can see the indicator lights are on, and it is searching for the signal. Now make sure your wireless bridge is facing directly to the other one. Make sure you choose a spot with good visibility and minimal obstruction for all of our wireless bridges. Now here we have the solar panel. Make sure you place the panel in an area with maximum sunlight exposure. This is the input cord from the solar panel to our charge controller and battery. And this is the output all the way to our junction box so you can send power to both of our wireless bridges. So let's plug one here to power it up. So the data is sending from the first bridge to this second bridge. Now how do we connect this to the third bridge? We are going to use an Ethernet cable. This is the most important part. Make sure you use the cable to connect the second bridge all the way to our third bridge. And this bridge is also powered up and connected as well. By looking at the side, we can see the indicated lights are on by using the solar power. So now let's move on to our last wireless bridge. Now coming over here, we have our last bridge. And here we don't need the solar power anymore, but if you need it, you can also use the solar power kit on this side. I'm going to plug in the ethernet cable to the PoE port. Again, we are using PoE technology. From the PoE injector, plug it into the PoE output port using another short patch cord to connect the data to our wireless SS point. And this SS point is powered up by PoE as well. Let's plug it in. So looking at the side, we can see all the indicated lights are on. And all you need to do is follow the manufacturer's instruction to configure the network setting on all of your bridges. So now to ensure all the bridges are communicating effectively and the network is stable, let's take out our mobile device. Let me turn on the Wi-Fi. This one right here is our wireless access point. It is already connected. Now let's check out our website to see if we can get internet access. Of course we can, so now it is connected. So there you have it, a fully operational, solid powered, back-to-back -back wireless network bridge setup. Now thank you very much for joining us at Fast Cabling. Before you go, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. And if you have any questions or want to see more detailed guides, you can drop a comment below. Now until next time, stay connected.